My husband and I are on a holiday in West Virginia together. Uh, we brought a bunch of library books up with us so that we could have some cozy reading time. Uh, we wanted to cook together. I brought my materials, my embroidery and drawing materials with me. So the plan is to just have time together to be nice and cozy and to have some good rest but then also to get inspired and create some things. So that's what I'm gonna do. I saw a video by Rachel Maxey where she is creating a shirt that has moss embroidered on it. And there's a lot of moss inspired embroidery that I've seen online and I love moss. I am a moss girl. So I would really like to embroider some moss on my own article of clothing that I can wear out and about and I have a vest that has moth holes in it. Today on our hike that Gavin and I took we were hiking at Lost River National no Lost River State Park and the moss was incredible. I took so many videos and pictures of the moss to get inspired and use that as references for the embroidery. We'll see how that goes. I forgot to take before footage of the vest, but it was just a plain green wool vest that was very simple, but was full of moth holes, which I didn't notice when I bought it. Luckily it was very cheap. It probably had 10 to 20 moth holes. Some of them were really small, but definitely could have gotten bigger if they weren't mended. So I liked that this was the process I used for mending these holes to make them more beautiful. After looking up some options and trying out some different techniques, I landed on the turkey stitch, which is a loop that you hold in place with another little stitch and then you cut the loop off so that it creates a sort of soft frayed look. I got a good one for my last one. Mm. Can I put it? Yeah. Ooh. Took my spot. Ha! Eight, nine, ten.
I've wanted to embroider outdoors for a long time now and on this mini vacation I'm really glad that I got to do it because there's something really peaceful and calming about embroidering and then when you pair it with the outdoors, especially the woods with the birds singing and just the sound of the leaves blowing in the wind, it's really magical and it was just such a nice time. Hello, I've been working on this for a little bit of time now and it's almost done. So I've got a lot of the front, got the nice little moss chunks, and I got a bunch of parts of the back. So my plan is to finish this section and then one more in the front and then I'll be done. And then I want to style it in a little moss goblin outfit so that's what I'm gonna do hopefully hopefully I can finish this quickly I just need to not get distracted embroidering this moss took a lot longer than I thought it would actually and I think that's because it seems so simple it's just a lot of repetition but because the stitches have to be so close together to keep the shape you have to do a lot more stitches than you would think and so it ended up just taking many many more days than I thought it would still very enjoyable and satisfying to see all of those fluffy little moss chunks being created This is my moss goblin vest. It's done. 
Well, actually, I don't even know if it's done. I posted a reel of one of the moss patches on Instagram, either Instagram or TikTok. Someone commented saying that it would look really nice if there were some variation of green color, which I agree with, but the yarn I was using had some variation already and it would have been just like a lot more thinking and work to add more color variation. So I didn't. Also, Esther, my sister, said that I should add like turkey tail mushrooms, like shelf mushrooms, kind of going down it and then it would look even cooler but I again didn't have the <laughs> I didn't have the patience to do it this time around but maybe I'll add to it uh, I don't know I really like how three-dimensional like if you turn sideways like as you turn it like sticks out a lot which is awesome it makes it look like it's really growing there it makes me happy it's just so funny. It's so funny looking and I like it. Moss. I just love moss. I love moss. So to have a moss outfit is, is a dream come true. <laughs> Thanks for watching the process. I'll see you next time. There's clams. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> The life of Rosalind is the life for me.